Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Assuming my spacebar works, today we're going to show you how to get to the moon and get this uh, mobile command center, the AI, that's what I'm calling it, to the moon. Alright, so this is what we're going to launch with. We throttle up, turn SAS on, and we hit space. Okay, it worked that time. Let's hope it works the next time, because I tried to launch this a minute ago and my spacebar just didn't do anything for some reason. Anyhow, the important thing about this rocket is it has a, enough fuel for you to make some mistakes and still get there. So, don't worry about timing your stages perfectly, because if you hit them too soon, it will blow up parts of your rocket that you're still using. Um, and if you hit them a little late, because you have a laggy game like I do, um, it's alright. You won't lose anything. In fact, you'll probably do a little better because you have those li that little gap in there, so your stuff isn't overheating as much. That being said, you might have noticed my main engine is overheating right now. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. We're going to ditch it pretty soon. Uh, you know, it gets us up and over that hump of the heavy atmosphere, you know. And that's what it's designed to do, and that's pretty much what it does. I like this first stage. You might have noticed by now that I use the same first stage all the time. Also, my rocket pitched over a little bit, and I'm doing a bit of manual correction. Um, I tell you to have this part... I tell you to have this part pointed straight up, but it's okay if you're pointing a little to the side, to the right. You don't want to point to the left or anywhere else or you're going to screw up your orbit. Uh, we're going to a 90 degrees, uh, what is it, east to west orbit. Anyhow, once we get to 500 meters per second for our speed, we need to pitch over to level. And, uh, I was also encountering... I didn't put up my gear. Oh, oh well. Doesn't matter right now. In the future, that might make a difference. Like having landing gear down, increased drag or something. Anyhow, like I said, I'm pitching over. And... We went a little too far and a little off 90. It's best to get this on 90. It doesn't have to be perfect, but... If it's perfect, it works guaranteed. Alright, so I'm going to switch back because we're about to run out of fuel. Uh, or at least I thought we were about to run out of fuel. We still got a little more. And uh, I'm just going to wait for this stage to run out of fuel. Yeah, because we won't make altitude on this stage, surely. Now, this is the weird glitch I noticed on this. I thought I was out of fuel right there. Maybe I'm just not looking at the indicator correctly, but I thought I was out of fuel right there, but I wasn't. Last time, I accidentally staged right then, and everything blew up. So just be very careful. Watch your engines as much as you're watching the gauge. Um, well, it seems like <laughs> we've already established an orbit, or at least half an orbit. I didn't realize we were going to do that on this stage. I thought we had to exhaust this one. So that's a good example of the amount of fuel you can expect to have on this design. Um, wow, we accidentally really got up there. It's okay though, you can launch from a lopsided orbit to the moon. Especially, like I said, this design gives you enough fuel for margin of error for stupid things like accidentally launching too far because you thought you had to worry about the staging. Um, turns out you didn't have to worry about the staging while you're getting up. So, yeah, I'm looking at the wrong indicator. Okay, we're high enough up to accelerate time. We're going to head out to the... Uh, apoapsis, of course, and we're going to get our paraapsis up. Uh, I'll worry about actually going to the moon once I get our paraapsis out. And it turns out we're going to have a good test of how versatile this vehicle is um, because turns out the moon is... Uh, it looks like we're going to be launching our burn to the moon from this side of the planet instead of from the other side. 
which means that we're going to be burning uh, in a worse place to burn because the lower in a gravity well you are burning the more effect it has on changing your orbit so we're going to be burning from this way mostly because we're basically going to come around Kerbin uh, right now I'm lining up we're going to come around Kerbin and we're going to be around here somewhere which means it's not as bad as burning where we are right now to get into a higher orbit but it's uh, still kind of bad so now we need to fast forward time. I need to turn up my screen brightness so I can actually see the screen um, in space. My ship is not under acceleration. Okay, there we go. That's reasonable. I wonder if the visual cue of seeing the moon rise still counts when you're this high up. We, we will see because uh, that's what I'm using because that's what you normally use as soon as I see it touch the edge of the planet I slow the heck down or at least the time warp I slow the heck down and now I burn straight for it now, let's see technically it would help my orbit more to burn downwards but I'm gonna burn level because that's just generally what I do and usually I make a nicer orbit than this. But hey, this will show off how you can screw up with this thing and still make it. So let's get rid of those. Let's try and get rid of the spin. Okay, we're spinning around. We're having fun. Okay. So now if we go to the map view, this is changing our orbit in a different direction than I thought it would because we weren't in a circular orbit. So it turns out this is the wrong way to do this, I think. Actually, no, that's getting close enough, I suppose. I don't know. We shall see. Oh, wait. Full burn and whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Let's just burn a little bit more and see how this lines up. <laughs> oh, we could get a free return directory to, to, to direct fuck that word. But yeah, we're going to the moon. Very obviously. And, uh, yeah. So let's just fast forward and go up there. Do, 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 do. Ah, the map view is kind of weird sometimes. Alright. And we want to burn... Wait, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We want to burn... Right about now is good. So I'm going to turn this thing around, which it turns a little bit better now that we've ditched those fuel tanks. Um, and yeah, I'm starting the burn even though I'm not properly aligned, but that's all right. We're just going to get into orbit. Actually, we're going to bring down our orbit. Okay, now, the thing about deciding where to land is we don't want to land there. No, anyhow, the thing about deciding to land, we want to land in the sunlight, so... Here's what I'm going to do to get us landing in the sunlight. I want to land, I'm just going to aim for here, because that's where the most sun is. So no matter how much off I am, we're good. I don't know how much off I'm going to be, but whatever. Anyhow, when you're aiming for a spot to land, you go to the exact opposite side, and you start slowing down. So I'm going to go to right here. And I'm going to turn this ship around. It's still a little heavy, uh, but that's all right. That is perfectly fine. Anyhow, I'm going to slow it down as soon as I... I'm actually going to line it up properly before burning fuel not to, so I don't waste any. All right, now 
the big thing we're looking for is we want this to go okay I didn't want to do that actually I like to keep the oh why is that what yeah my recording stopped and it glitched the game a little um, I like to keep I like the way I like to land is I like to have the parapsis at 2000 oh it's already above that or 2000 or 4000 whatever it doesn't really bother me either way anyhow then what I do is I fast forward time and so we're basically going to circle and land on the other side and we're going to come in very fast and very low check this out all right so I'm basically gonna wait till I get to 5,000 which is where it won't let me time warp anymore okay no wait 42,000 okay no I still got some time to go actually I'm gonna decide we're gonna stop right here that's basically how I decide is I just say hey we're stopping here okay so full throttle and we're basically just slowing the hell down so that we can fall straight towards the ground and we want to do this till that thing goes away basically because once that thing goes up there it means we're gonna be if that thing goes away entirely if we thrust anymore this way we're just gonna start going back the direction we came so right now we're pretty much dropping straight down and we're dropping pretty fast but it's alright we'll be okay and we can fine-tune our landing angle to get rid of lateral movement on the way down how you do that is well how I do it is which wherever that thing is uh, the direction you're going thing indicator I keep it slightly off directly up aim that way and that gets rid of most of it and anything else we can get rid of by holding SW and etc while we're in the vinyl stages with the SAS on because as you can see I can force it to move a little bit extra each direction even with the SAS on and I can actually make it go completely vertical by holding down S and D pretty much um, so yeah we're dropping pretty fast as you might have noticed um, we're not we're not worried about that we're gonna wait till we get a little lower and a little faster before we start burning I'm actually gonna speed up time here a little okay now I'm uncomfortable so I'm gonna slow us down also our indicator has changed oh come on come on okay there we go this thing uh, can turn pretty fast and I forgot so accidentally let that happen all right and yeah cannot warp faster while below 5,000 meters now we're coming down quite fast actually and I'm just gonna be an idiot but we should be slowing down right now okay I'm gonna slow down and minor corrections and I'm gonna slow down and yeah so the grounds getting pretty close when the grounds this close you want to keep it about 20 meters per second or so and then when it's getting this close you wanna try and not go towards the ground at all almost and you might have noticed at this stage that the ship we're flying has no landing gear uh, and we're slowing down too much and now we're speeding up and basically you want to touch down as light as possible and and the reason why is because I always touch down so light it's not needed well no I don't with this design I always do now we're gonna put our gear up 
and the other reason we don't worry about that is because this craft is not designed to return it is designed to deliver a mobile command center so once we get at this stage uh, or if you messed up your landing and you broke part of that you just hit space right away and you're good um, if you have time like I do you can sit here for a bit before you do it or if you land and nothing's destroyed but you're starting to tip over you probably want to just go ahead and do it because you don't want to hurt yourself but anyhow once you're down you decouple and you kinda make yourself get off of it and as you can see mobile command center is now on the moon and it's quite slippery so you want to be careful about how you let's see this way now the controls for this thing are a bit awkward because they just ended up being that way because of the way controls are designed but anyhow E makes you turn left not right R I mean Q makes you turn uh, right instead of left like you'd expect and K is to go forward not I like you'd expect Basically, everything about this thing is not what you would expect. And I can do a wheelie. Uh, I recommend not doing what I'm doing right now. Don't ever take off with this thing, because it's very hard to land it without breaking stuff. And uh, that's also why it has struts, so it can hold together a bit, a bit longer. But you generally... Also, don't get it going too fast. I'm going to go ahead and go fast right now, because I'm an idiot. But... You don't want to get going too fast with this thing because you will do stuff like that see I just basically just flipped it over and oh damn it there's see the point was to tell you not to go too fast and I think I made a pretty damn good point by breaking it you can see why I don't want you going that fast at least we can still roll around probably gonna blow something up rolling around like this but anyhow there you go it also has an RCS thruster on the front to use as a brake because if you use your brakes on the moon you'll just start flipping anyhow that is this design don't be a bad pilot once you get on the ground I know it takes forever to get anywhere at slow speeds but that's the only way to do it safely because else you'll end up like this and if I show you the other one the other one of these that's on the moon um, it looks pretty much like this in fact actually I broke both sides off of that one by going into the air too much at a high speed I broke one off by accident and launched myself into the air I broke the other one to keep it from exploding when it hit the ground coming down alright Goodbye. Don't be an idiot.